Hello Pisces, welcome to Cat Tarot. My name is Cat, and if you get lucky, you're going to meet Safi the cat. And she sometimes visits, she brings luck, and kind of like, of course, she brings immense beauty. So let's see how it goes. So first, before I start, a quick intro about this reading. It's going to be broken down in parts. It's going to be the first part where I'm going to do the January forecast, and then I'm going to pull a few cards for a quick annual kind of like introduction. And it's also going to include Oracle message. Um, also, I want to remind everybody that if you wish to get um, numerology or kind of like introduction, so what's going to be generally be happening in 2021 with being a year number five, please make sure to subscribe to my uh, list. So either you're a subscriber here, but the best is to put yourself down on the mailing list and that way you get it for sure. So just do that. So let's jump right in. Let's do this guys and just don't forget to check your sun sign your moon sign and the ascendant that should go without saying it's a general one if you want a private reading that's a different story and you can contact me via catero.ca okay so let's start the first one here is nine of earth this is connecting to your card the moon moon is 18 and one and eight makes nine and this is talking about material comforts it being cushy being protected kind of like enjoying uh, maybe fruits of your labors or simply kind of like doing something for yourself like a pedicure or manicure making life just really really beautiful place just for no reason dressing up and doing stuff heck isn't this one of the things we are missing all of a sudden right it's working from home and this is crossed with ten of sky and this is kind of like really interesting because it's a very unusual combination it almost like talks to me about you know she's looking at him she's looking and that I think it is you, kind of like how things evolved. Maybe you're looking simply at a disaster that is really happening around you. Because I was just saying, like, you simply don't belong in the competition of the signs. Because there are 11 signs in competition, and then it's you, the Pisces. You're kind of like doing what you really want to do. And here we are talking about the kitty who has has this tail broken, he has lost his eye, he's in a corner, the rain is coming, he's clearly going to lose, somebody's throwing the stones at him, he's going to lose his last life. And I really think that you are probably experiencing a huge empathy and huge <coughs> in, in integration with everything that is going on. And maybe you're counting your blessings that you are good or that you're relatively good to co compare to somebody else. Because this, this is putting things in perspective. Look at what the difference this, this really makes, right? It is kind of like um, also making you, um, I would not say suffer. I kind of like don't see lots of suffering, but I would say um, impotent to kind of like do changes. You're kind of like observing all of that suffering and yet you're feeling, oh my gosh, it almost looks like watching television. Is this really happening? It's like something that is really kind of like trying to compute. But because this is a 10 of sky or 10 of swords in the regular deck, it, it's kind of like has a message in itself. And the message is that the word, the, the word, the, the word, the worst is over. We have dealt with a brunt of crap, or at least you did. And it's kind of like really time to start, like, I mean, uh, exploring different aspects. You have also Five of Earth over here, and this is kind of like interesting card. That kind of like has duality. You can see the really kitty cats hugging and kind of like sleeping together. They have their little food dish. They have the fireplace. And if you want to feel sorry for this kitty that is isolated and outside, think again this kitty is free and they like roaming around they like to do stuff they're like very independent so there is like a trade-off right freedom and independence versus kind of like belonging to the kind of like really structure if you wish right so it could mean that you are kind of like paving your own path um, this could mean that this is maybe difficult financially, that there are really sacrifices that you really need to make as a result, right? But it also means that, you know, 
you you're kind of like really brimming with ideas of some sort and something that you really want to do maybe you're also looking on a really greater scale it's possible to really see how and what and how you can activate yourself to help um, many because this is simply kind of like one of the um, linings of your own sign so let's see what is coming from the past yeah this is like one of those lovely cards where differences are the key like i mean there is like some kind of like joining uh forces and maybe you're kind of like really um you're welcoming other people to basically the party and i don't know why immigrants cross my mind maybe you're involved with somebody who is from a different country there is like something that is really audible square peg in a round hole something that doesn't kind of fit but you made it fit because of who you are and how you really deal with people and how you can really comprehend people and issues around you maybe they did let you down maybe they did and you had to shun them you had to say off you go i cannot handle this i really like to spend my life in this space of kind of like gentleness and forgiveness and comfort right what is above you is kai tom and this is like a person who is in his own world he is going after this bird he has this goal in mind and with this goal he kind of like sometimes forgets that he needs to have the firm grasp where he stands and how he is right so um it could be somebody coming your way you have a really strong air coming and air could be somebody exchanging ideas or somebody even butting heads or somebody kind of like feeling like kind of like they're calling the shots and that can be appealing that can look confident that can kind of like look very very nice so that could actually coincide with uh mars going in taurus which is happening around the sixth which kind of like we see taurus over here and initially you might feel like oh my freaking god right kind of like mars is like this big planet and it could be uh, this could be a job loss of some sort it could be some shakedown if you really wish because that's the best advice is to lick your wounds and count your blessings no matter where you freaking are because it can be worse it can be worse right so there is like also the air that we have here and it's going to be really interesting because this is clearly about communication uh toms and knights are messengers right so we have mercury entering aquarius on january the 8th friday and this can talk about the friendship and who is here for you with you uh how different you are and how the differences can make you stronger kind of a thing right also you're going to ask yourself did friends let you down and did you let them down and how can you nurture it now right so it's kind of interesting because it's really venus is entering capricorn at the same time so in that combination it can talk about our understanding that relationships are hard work they don't come <laughs> naturally right initially when we are in love and we are high on endorphins everything looks freaking perfect and then oh no he is not kind of like pressing on his toothpaste properly and and like then we go into that phase right so it's kind of like something that really be happening over here so if you haven't been in touch for a while then this area is going to really require attention or somebody might be right in your face and say hey what happened why didn't you call me that kind of things if you don't do any of these things the tower showed up in the rear its ugly head but the tower is ultimately a good card the tower talks about us heading and forcing ourselves where we want to go our ego is more important than anything else it's almost like our head is bigger than a freaking door frame and we just cannot get through and we have to get through so oops and then tower shows up and the tower goes off you go let's make a little bit of shakedown and let's start all over again you have to make either a small head and ground yourself or a bigger door frame kind of a thing so this is the first major arcana that showed up here and it's talking about the shift and it's going to be kind of like something that comes through for you this might be when uranus goes direct 
Uranus, even though it's like your neighboring sign, uh, signs ruler uh, from Aquarius, it's not really good fit with Neptune, right? And Uranus goes direct on January the 14th. It was retro since August 15, 2020. So you need to ask yourself what you have learned over this last uh, six months and kind of like what what kind of like a situation that is not triggering you as it triggered you before right because that's going to give you clues about this um tower because tower shows up when we just fail to see the red flag red flag red flag red flag red flag red flag no off we go we keep going red light red light red light and then finally the cop stops you and basically your driving license is being taken you have to start all over again and this time you have to do it right right so that's kind of like the purpose of the tower and then we have who we have the priestess who else had this priestess over here i think capricorn had the priestess right in their own house that tells me about feeling intuitive that tells me about being not judgmental we also have this new moon here new moon is going to be january 13th in capricorn of course this is also water over here so it's some kind of like emotional engagement and it's simply by being and i mean you're also connecting to the moon in terra right and this is kind of like that um, neptunal kind of understanding um, amethyst is going to be really beneficial for you this month and um with with this you'll be possibly be able to get this messages from who knows what kind of distant worlds you're able to summon and they kind of like really come to you right and i really feel you're going to go deep you're going to maybe buy a tarot deck maybe you're going to contact a tarot reader you're going to go into this unknown if you already haven't right because you are going to start feeling that there is like a shift happening but you're not going to necessarily like the shift because what is interesting about the high priestess is that she has the <coughs> good and bad pillars she doesn't judge she's right in the middle she's actually silent she has all the knowledge. She knows how the story ends because karma, after all, talks about living your life uh, kind of like in one life you are like a, a villain, in another one you're a hero, right? The archetypes. And so kind of like going in those directions. So this is falling over here so that intuitiveness, that connectivity is going to be extremely important for you. And your environment it's going to be oh my god oh my gosh what's happening so this is another 10 so we had a 10 of sky and we have a 10 of fire so 10 of wands over here and this is really talking about somebody it's kind of weird because they're going to look at you that you are holding some kind of secrets you're just simply rebalancing you are like just simply processing everything that has happened how you had to shift how you had to relearn certain things right and when this card shows up it really talks about holy moly kind of like run for the cover kind of a thing something like i mean poo poo hit the fan kind of a thing so maybe somebody's going to come to you very demanding voice right which we can see here with the sky tone you need to tell me what it is da -da 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 -da. whoa whoa chest tarzan right and you will just do nothing if nothing can basically trigger them more by somebody doing nothing right you have your things to deal with you have your own things that you need to process so now somebody else and their kind of like musical moments and what kind of like tune they want you to play is not going to be important right because it looks like this entire month is going to be kind of like self-oriented your hopes and fears are ace of sea or ace of cups and this is kind of mirroring this three of cups so <coughs> Again, it goes back to somebody you have met. But then somebody else looks like interfering with that. And it's kind of weird. This is kind of like talking about, oh, I, I said weird. Weird is destiny. So it is some kind of destiny at play over here. So it almost looks like there was some kind of like friendship that was just new and unusual. Maybe it was just a quick glance at someone in passing but it didn't go anywhere it just was warm feeling right and you kind of like enjoy the comfort as i told you 
while maybe looking at somebody else doing all kinds of things maybe this simply talks about um, this pandemic situation we're going through maybe this is simply talking a personal situation that somebody was doing all kinds of crazy things that ultimately ended up cornering themselves and hurting themselves right and they had to reinvent themselves maybe this is simply you watching them collapse and they need to reinvent yourself and that's why you're silent and hence you have no tolerance for BS you have no tolerance for things that can kind of like go out of like hand confidence and new ideas they are like welcome but at some point they need to kind of like really start to vibrate with you like I mean the reason how you vibrate with uh, Pisces is um, to kind of like go into this dream world you meet in a dream world with a person and this is what this is all about there is like the finally you both press the same tune both of you are kind of like feeling that vibration and this kind of like means is going forward there is like a potential of going forward everything is kind of like brewing that way you have a 10 you have a 10 which means it's the end of the phase it has to go in a new direction and here it is like finally ta-da here is like that one the ace and the wink and somebody's winking at you so don't and could be the same person that maybe you met in passing that now is saying well you know let's move from this friendship to a date how about we chat and be open to that suggestion and then you have a six of skies six of swords and this is really really a uh, fantastic over here because this again goes to that Mars uh, in um, in Taurus it's going direct so um, it's kind of like self-care and doing what is right so it is like I mean bridge or troubled waters you're getting rid of the stuff that doesn't work you don't want to be part of the fight you're letting them do whatever the heck they want you see the fights the the mess the disasters uh, you know like I mean absolutely kind of like hey which part you didn't get how many times you have to really go through the situation people hiding things this is it you have nothing to do with this and maybe there are a few scratches in the bottle maybe like the stubber kind of like created some minor damage but this is it you're rebuilding yourself and rebuilding yourself is also going to mean leaving some people behind the people who are troublemakers the people who are not um, helping your own concept of life and how you want to comprehend and you want kind of like it looks like at least in general you want a little bit of sheltered kind of like a situation where you are self pampering um, but at the same time like I mean somebody else is trying to lure you into that unknown you're not going to be that intrigued but there is going to be also possibility of finding somebody really special by actually trying to kind of like open up so let's try to see 2021 and what that can bring you over here so I'm simply going to cut the deck and see what it basically comes for you I'm just looking at these cards upright so it is a forecast for a general forecast so we'll see and the first one already wants to talk so it is traveling and then you have the burden which is just like that kitty that was getting out of the fight this is the same thing it's the six of swords but it's even kind of like a better over here remember how you had like i mean a whole bunch of like five keys like at each other's throat and fighting for who is the most important who is going to say and like, i'm leaving this the same thing here why is he carrying these burdens it's like not only that he's carrying this woman and her attitudes and everything that she wants and she really believes she's more important than he is even though he's the one doing all the work and also she even cares this freaking rooster on top of that so to me this is the ultimate kind of a thing you need to get it off your back or your chest people who are commanding you people who are trying to run your world then you have flower, flowering, flowering um, which will be the queen of pentacles and look at her she is 
she's blossoming over here she's pregnant the lotus has opened entirely to me this is the ultimate wife which is interesting because this card and i don't know if you can see it here let's see you can see it you can see the traveler here it's called traveling and it's really we don't know where we are going over here we're just seeing that there is like something of an excitement over here if we are really going into this new direction um this kind of like talks about enjoying the journey and hence this goes back also what you had as a beginning in january is like you need to open yourself up to the possibilities this is also talking about the love arrows it's talking about look you simply need to enjoy. Love is basically your way of being, right? This is like your Pisces after all. You kind of like offer other people that soft place to fall, but you sometimes kind of attract lots of people with their own turmoils, with their own troubles, who kind of like come to your world and you need to heal. But you will need to release those burdens in this particular year. You will need to kind of like create this balance in between what is important for you and how much you really want to care for the other people. And then you get this transformation. Look at that phoenix raising over there. You know, this is the proverbial death card, right? You had that in general reading as well. So now this is really talking about and it's interestingly he also has this lotus he's also raising to the surface and a whole bunch of things are really happening look at this yin and yang and the chains are being cut and uh, or is it the snake i think one is snake and one could be chains over here and there is a sword to our sky there is a fire it, it's just like the ultimate redemption over here when transformation card shows up which will be death in the regular deck it really talks certain things need to end for other things to enter the scene so i think essentially what this tells me is that you have changed that you have um like and this is what happened during uranus retrograde uranus went retrograde on august 15th 2020 and we really had to learn things about ourselves we need to do sacrifices we need to kind of like really figure out what is our essence and what is the minimum because generally sometimes without defining that minimum remember you also had this like five of pentacles when we don't define it people just take and take and take and take and we don't know when to say no you can't i don't have my own reserves right so this year is going to be a um, really good one this can talk about you feeling complete comfort in yourself so it's going to be a little bit like an oddball year i would say where you're going to be more like a nerd sign you'll be really um, enjoying uh, i guess bounties of good things and providing yourself good things and good care and self-care and you're not going to allow anything or anybody to come your way you have a stars here which is combined it's really talking about some communication so it, it this can talk about expressions of love um going to be some big communication as well happening here you have the journal and the burden it's again talking about those secrets and something needs to go or people who are like just too much just say listen i have no time right now gotta go you need to kind of practice that no you need to be able to say no without guilt and in fact you need to be able to say no with pride and that is going to be the major accomplishment because then you're able to open up you're able to kind of like step in in the position that you really need to learn this year and that's it that is setting you off on a new road the crossroads it's the ultimate choice is going to be up to you and you're going to choose the path of transformation actually even though the choice is going to be up to you you're going to choose and universe is going to give you ability to get there by reinventing yourself and look at that it's whoa like it's a two kind of like pluto cards is that cross and this is going to in the end make lots of sense so it's it's going to be kind of like weird it's going to start with a big bang and then you're going to feel hmm i'm not so sure it is about this traveling and journey it's becoming hard because i'm carrying this stupid woman with a chicken on her head right and it just looks like that she's kind of bossing me around and why is that that i am doing all this stuff but humility and service is something that basically is being learned out of this lesson 
and when you kind of like realize that this is kind of like setting you free if you wish and that's why you have this flowering card and also transformation and the cross is always talking about karma and burdens and something being released and this is the ultimate uh, kind of like tower that right now is reinventing you're kind of like figuring out how things really need to be it's resurrection if you wish but in order to have that resurrection you really really need to let something go whatever the parts of you are that are not working well or not working properly or um, or that other people are simply kind of like violating boundaries over and over and over and you allow them to come back that's going to stop you'll see all right my Pisces to seal the reading, we are going to have, look, it's a number one. It's like that beginning. You, we are going to have, um, this as an oracle card and as a kind of a guide. I absolutely love it. Look at this. Everything here, like we have the clock. It's called Bone Collector Lady. Over here I have a rabbit. Look at how beautiful and all-encompassing this really is, right? So let me read this for you. It says, you are whole, let's put it back, you're whole and have everything you need within. When the bone collector appears, she is asking you to look closely at your circumstances to see if you're fully present or reacting out of past conditioning and unconscious expectations. Whenever you are wounded, especially when we are young, it is as if something essential is stolen from us. We adopt and accept a particular version of the truth that then sets us to behave a certain way in the future when faced with a situation that reminds us of the original event. What we know about ourselves thus becomes influenced by a perception of limitation. You may feel unworthy or without courage. You may see yourself as flawed or unlovable or expect to be criticized. No matter what your question this year is going to be, the bone collector reminds you that the truth is that you are a powerful being with limitless possibilities. She has kept safe what was stolen from you in the wounding and it is here for you as you reclaim it now. You have everything you believe you lack and the bone collector is your inner resource. Act as if you already have what you need and you will find you have it after all. Anything is possible. With awareness, the wounds of the past need not define you. So this makes sense because you're going to get really uh, well versed into telling people off who basically don't serve the purpose, who cannot be transformed, who cannot get it. And instead of transforming them, you're going to be transforming you, my dear Pisces. So let me remind you one more time, guys, check your sun sign, your ascendant, your moon sign in order to get better kind of like a fit. If you're my past client, then you can get your personal annual. It is like 195 which is uh, special for pandemic year, regular is 230. And if you are not my past client, you will need to wait until I clear my clients and then I'm opening up uh, basically the shop to everybody. But in the meantime, you can get the regular reading because annuals are just draining me out. I can only do one a day. So this is it from me. And don't forget to sign up for the mailing list because with the mailing list, you know, you can get this numerology for 2021. You will get coupons and specials and also calendar. I put all these astrology events in a calendar. You can print it. You can do whatever you want with that. So hopefully that helps. Love you, my dear Pisces. Namaste. Happy New Year. And I can't wait to hear comments from you and about hearing about this beautiful transformation that you're already having in plan for this year. All the best.